Hey guys, so it's Kim Butterbones here, and we are back for another horror game. This is Fears to Phantom Woodbury Getaway, and I'm just so excited to play this game. I have played all four of the episodes. This is the fifth one that currently just came out today, and I'm just so excited to play this. The story that goes behind this game is Sydney Harper, a 23-year-old working at a consulting firm, plans a weekend to a Woodbury rental with her college friends. Little did she know what was about to unfold during their stay. So I'm just so excited to play this one. Uh, if you guys want to support me financially, follow any of my social medias. They're all in the description. If you guys want to see more horror games like this, you guys know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, like button, notification bells, and without further ado, let's begin. Woodbury Getaway. December 8th. Oh, oh, okay. We need coffee to get done with the day. Oh, okay. We're f going straight towards this. Okay. Hell nah. This is like the back rooms type crap. Look at this. I need to prepare a cup of coffee. Oh, I know how to do this. Hold on. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, Let's do... We can actually choose the creamer. Oh, my hands are full. Okay. Let's put that there. So, yeah, yeah, Uh, cappuccino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that there. All right. Need water. Right, right, right. Where's the, where's the water? I have to use sink water. Okay. Yes, sir. Boom. All right, start it. Yeah, look at that. That's already, that's already progress. All right, all right, all right, that's good, that's good. I need to put a lid, um, let's do, where, where's the lids, where's the lids? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Boom! Look at that. Beautiful. Need to use the restroom. Already? Yeah, yeah, we have to go in here. Alright, let's close this. This is a dirty bathroom. And I can't even see myself. I'm checking the bathrooms in case. Okay, let's use um honestly. Let's let's use this one. Let's use this one. Not gonna use the last one. We're gonna take a piss while with our coffee. What is that? Piss me. There's a guy here. There's a guy here. Is that. Please tell me that's the janitor. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, ma'am. I didn't know you were in here. That's okay. I like to clean late because it's pretty quiet at this hour. Okay. But you really had to jump scare me like that. You working late again, huh? Yeah, well. You young folks sure do put in the hours. Make, make sure to take care of yourself. You too. Oh, he's nice. He's a nice guy. Okay. Okay. You could have just... Could have just knocked the door, but no. Woo. Hello? I'm getting another phone call. Damn. Hello? Hey, Orp, it's Mike. Oh. I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours it just keeps going to voicemail is everything all right yeah uh yeah let's oh, yeah i was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me no 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 totally uh, not no not even <laughs> God. i'm just kidding <laughs> um this guy's awkward uh, anyway uh what are you still doing at work it's getting kind of late 
Uh, been work. Uh, oh, work has been overwhelming lately. Damn, work. That sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. This guy likes me. What is that noise? Um, about our trip. Did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. Ah. Uh, I was going to do it after work. No worries, Harper. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Yo, this guy digs her. Well, uh, me, but he digs her. Hey. She got no game, though. She doesn't, like, understand. I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. Yeah. You no, know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. There you go. Right. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under a hundred dollars a night. Why? Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Oh, okay, okay. Been going very well for her. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, sure. I'll find something affordable. It'll be just like the old college days. You always had a knack for finding the best spots. I should really make the booking now. Right. Okay. All right. Talk to you later, Harp. Yeah, he's excited because he about to get laid. He about to get right straight into that ocean. All right. Here we go. All right. What the? Oh, you got to see people's money? Damn. 540k. Yo, if I had that money. Shoot. Okay. What do, what do we do here? Oh. Uh, rental, right? Wood. I I spell wood. Okay. 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 Woodcabin.com. Okay, I did not click that, but it's okay. The game wants me to do that. Where are you going? Woodbury. This is so sketchy. Bro, this is so sketchy. Oh, nah. Alright, we gotta find something under 100. This is, bro, I would not even pay this much for a night. A bowl of crap? I don't care if it has a, a ceiling fan? That's full. That's with the energy bill as well. What you mean? A garden? What are we gonna guard? Okay, there's that one. Anything else before? Yeah, this is the only one. Damn. It, it literally has TV, Wi-Fi, kitchen, which equals energy. So it has everything. Hell yeah. I will pay for this. Even fishing. Wow, look at that. Okay, let's check. Three gas, two bedroom, two beds. Okay, yeah. Book, book it. Yep. Yeah, they automatically took my debit card. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands of stories sent daily so i'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me i'm sorry if someone of it is written weird but i was rushed i can i can tell when i was in my early 20s i worked at a big consulting firm in my city life at a firm was a cons constant juggle of dead <laughs> deadlines jesus Silent meetings or client meetings and trying to prove my worth, which didn't have or which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. That makes sense because the way she's socializing with the guy didn't really, she, she didn't couldn't, she couldn't really social. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental peace. I'm Sydney Harper and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to rural Vermont, which sounded like a perfect break from a from the cycle work. And my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. Of course, of course. The plan was simple. We rent a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave, and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up two days later.
Brother, what the f Hello? Bruh. Good Look afternoon. at this dude. Chilly today, huh? I've seen you around, but I haven't had a chance to introduce myself. I'm Gail. I'm Sydney. It's nice to meet you. You're on the 10th floor, right? I'm on the 8th. That's right. I thought so. I've been seeing you a few times getting off at the 10th floor when I'm home late from work. What do you do for work? He, I'm a software engineer. What about you? I'm a consulting firm at downtown. Oh, I see. Anyways. Hope you have a great rest of your day. I need to get some groceries before the snow starts. Um. I don't want to hang up. Was I supposed to hang up? Pulling into the parking garage now. Are you downstairs yet? Oh, it's not yet. Oh, there you are. There you are. Is that him? What the? Wait, oh, is that him? Hey! That's still how you hug people? <laughs> Why don't you hug me like you miss me? Just a test hug to see if you smell first. Fair enough, but for the record, I shower just for the occasion. Nothing is too good for Cindy Harper. There you go. You look good. So do you, Mike. You can just throw your stuff in the back and we'll get on our way. He better not die. He better. This guy better be a Giga Chad. He gotta be the alpha here. He gotta literally protect this woman. Alright, uh, let's get our bags. And we can just throw it back there, right? Yeah. Alright then, Harp. Are you ready to hit the road? Let's do this. Let's go! Over 26 p.m. Oh, snap. Yes, sir. It was starting to snow. Look at this. This looks nice. The landscape. Just outstanding. Oh. Harp, isn't it weird? We used to dream about escaping our college. And now here we are. Trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. We couldn't wait to get out into the real world. Uh, let's do... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. We just didn't know how much the real world would, you know. Suck sometimes? Uh, change is just hard, like, trying to adjust to the new job. Speaking of jobs, how's it going so far? How's your new job? Uh, let's go with this one. We're working on this project that uses machines learning to predict market trends. It's pretty cutting edge stuff. Sounds like you're shaping the future. <laughs> not quite, yeah. No, not quite Tony Stark yet, but I'll get it. Rick Wilson. You know, I never understood what do consultants even do. We consult. <laughs> that sounds like... Important work. <laughs> it's really not. Alright. Oh. Oh no. Why did it do that? What? Yeah. It was What? What do you mean it's a project? You don't just put a school boss there. But you're gonna take the kids? You're gonna take them somewhere else? You know someone's idea of turning it into a tiny home on wheels or something? I've read people do that on the internet. Whoa, whoa, dear, 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 dear! We have to mod it! Yep, you came out of nowhere, you know. I read on the internet that in Native American lore, seeing a deer cross your path. It's like greeting a message from the universe. Alright. Okay, please confirm you check in your travel safe. Uh. Okay, it's a little dangerous. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, we're on our way. So, it's like 426, right? And we, 
We'll get there before six. I don't know. That that was that was so weird. How far is it now? Should be about in half an hour from here. You know? Driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. Star Wars! Uh, yeah. It's like stars and galaxies rushing past me. This woman doesn't know how to socialize, man. Literally just go in there. It's kind of beautiful. You know what's kind of beautiful? Keeping your eyes on the road. Five fourteen PM. Oh snap. Oh snap. Okay. I'm gonna be married that bus, by the way. Yo, Harp, check that out. Yes, sir. Ooh! We got the Moe's, we got the Mouse and Dong pizza. <laughs> Alright, we're here! Oh, look at that. You know, Harp, I gotta tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. The pizzeria, pizzeria is exactly where it appeared on my GPS. Wow, also, this is like when GPS started to be a thing here. It's like living in the future. I'm so hungry, I think I could eat a whole pizza myself. Me too. Alright then, Harp. Operation Pizza Pitch Hub is a go. Prepare to land. Alright, um, evening phones look like the cold has got everyone craving pizza tonight. You fine folks know what you want to eat? We'll get three slices each. I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and a veggie. And for you, miss, uh, let's get the pepperoni most special, and uh, I'll go f for another pepperoni. Any drinks for you folks? That should cover us. Just the pizza today. Thanks. Alright then. Six hot slices coming right up. That'll be... 22 fit. Alright. Wait, for six slices though? Or is it like a whole pie? Your order number is 27. Just grab a seat and then we'll call you up when your pizza is ready. Okay. Okay, he's just there. Long sniff? Okay. It's, it smells so good in here. Come on, woman! Bro, oh, I have to be saying something here. Oh, what the... F oh, what the... You guys are going to hate me. I swear, I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not gonna bore you with all of the details. The long and short of it is, one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but I gotta keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it, and be on my way. Oh my god, if he's, if he's tipping you giving that money, I guess, but... Uh, please be careful, I hate that you're leaving so late. Drive slow, don't worry. I'll make sure Harp stays up to let you in. Did you listen to Nora's voice messages in the crew? Yeah, just... It looks like she'll be late. That's a bummer. What? What is this? Yo, what is this crack out of He was over here. He was over there. I guess we'll have to start the fun without her. Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Order number 27, you folks are right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. All right. All right, grab the... What the... All right, grab the pizzas. Let's go. All right, you folks are all set. Okay, thank you. Ooh! Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. So, we paid 22 for three slices? These are not even big. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god. This pizza slaps. Oh my. <laughs> I can't believe Nora is missing out on this bomb. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, I'm just tripping. 
Yeah, well, yeah, eat the crust as well. Eat the crust. Sometimes the crust, it gotta be crusty as well. Damn, if you actually eat the crust, what? It's kind of ways not to, don't you think? I guess, but you wouldn't really eat the peel of an orange, would you? It's not, you can't really, what? It's just, okay, eat, all right, that's kind of weird, though. The crust, it's just, like, dough. And the orange peel, it's just the peel, which is gonna, it's not gonna taste good. Bruh. What Look did at I this say? Dude. It's crack out here. Hey there, my friends. Hello there. I saw y'all pulling the driving. That's nice old truck. Are you just watching who pulls in and taking, uh, no, let's be nice for a little bit. Not sure to be a bother or anything, but I was heading down the road myself. Seems like we might have been going the same direction. Y'all yeah, might if I hitch a ride with you. He's heading towards our same direction, so let's ask him where's the car. Who needs a car when there are fine friends like you to pass the time with? No, how do we how do we even know this guy? Y'all would even know I was there quite as a church mouse and twice as nice. Care to give me this free spirit of ride down the... Uh, free. Ah, damn. This is going to be hard because I... I would normally say I wouldn't have enough space, but this guy already knows. Um, screw it. Hold on a sec. Don't you think we need to discuss this? Okay, okay, he's right. Not sure if we have extra space for now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, you see? I'm sorry, I didn't think of that. So you can find... So you can find just a little bit of room for me. I can ride in the middle. I'll ride in the in the bed. It's my friend's car. No sp Oh. Oh my god. You. Sc what did I say? Look at this. Look, look at this. He's acting like friendly, but he's not. You ain't too kind, are you? Unkind people meet unkindness themselves. You best be careful out there. Are you threatening us? No, no, no. Y'all got me all wrong. Sorry, I'm just cold and tired is all. Nah, see? See? Are you serious? How are you gonna let a stranger ride with us in the middle of nowhere? I was just trying to help. Yeah, well, sometimes helping can put you in a bad situation. I mean, he's right. He's right. Even if you're being nice, sometimes things can go really bad. All right, Dad. All right, boom. Easy. I can burp. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, my God. Holy, that was good. All right, then. Are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat... The worst of the snow. Are we close? Let's see. If my GPS is right, it should be about another hour. Get my keys. Uh, what, what's this guy doing? The weather's awful. Why don't you drive part of the way home? I'm going to drive so you can get... Oh, you can get a break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm afraid of what kind of break you're going to give me, Hart. You may afraid if you don't give me the keys. Fine, but there's one condition. What is it? I'll get first choice of bedrooms when or if we get there. Ah, uh, deal. Okay, let's go. Let's go! First snowfall of the season. Alright, this is amazing. I finally get to drive. <laughs> I crashed my truck. Uh oh. I pay for it. 241, right? 
Yeah, two, four, one. Okay. Uh, let's go here. Is there? A, yeah, there's a garage there. We can park there. Oh, oh yeah. Here we go. My legs fell. See, one second. Okay. Oh no, his legs are numb. Hey, there we go. It was a very cold night. You know, you you guys know how I feel about white vans, right? We can't tell him? What? Um. Avery Rook has sent me a code lock. Oh. 5176. Okay. Nice. We got it. Let's go in. You going first, Mother Chugger? There's someone up here. I need to talk to Fraser. What's a great place? I knew we could count on you. Right, but I really need to hit the John. Okay, take your time then. Sure, I'm gone. Can you put these groceries away? No space in it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got it. Nah, hell nah. Nah, you're actually bugging. There's actually someone up there. Man's tripping. Okay. Milk, milk, bananas, maybe, uh, peaches, uh, all oh, bell peppers, eggs, lettuce, and frozen yogurt. Okay. That was easy. Nah, I'm not gonna lie, guys. This is cool and all that. I would actually go here, but. Well, sorry about that, Hart. Are you okay? Long drive and all that pizza really did a number on me. Oh, good. All the groceries are put away. Thanks for handling that, Harp. Anyway, this place looks crazy nice. It got some rustic charm you you just don't see anymore. Uh, yep. For sure. Really had to pee. I'll be back. You can go ahead. I'll start unpacking our bags. Thanks. Okay. Oh, the small loan told me the pizza had really done a number, Mike. Okay, confirm. Oh, yeah, we checked in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like this. I really don't like this. All right, let's flush. Oh my god. Why is the bathroom here? There's a whole window. Okay, let's wash our hands. Oh, freaking god. Okay. I'm good. Uh, want to check out the house? Sounds good to me. Uh, let's see what this place has to offer. After you. Okay. Uh, living room. Yeah, it's bigger. Okay, it's bigger than the apartment. Oh, the music stopped. Hello there. Freaking god, man. Again! You see this? I didn't mean to. So, he was the guy... In front. Come on, that's kind of creepy, man. Welcome to my home sweet home. What a lovely young couple. No, 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 we're not. Uh, we're just friends. Oopsie daisy, silly me. We didn't expect anyone to be here. Oh, um. I was out looking for my cat earlier. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, and I remember the TV has been out on the frizz here. Just thought I stopped and tried to get it. Working again since the last few folks left a bad word for it. Sure. 
Yeah, I know they say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without a TV. I don't know. Speaking of that, now that y'all folks are here, let me show you around my sweet home. Right now? I'd be a bad owner if I didn't give you the grand tour. Okay, let's turn that off. You can fix that later. Host was a middle aged man with a nervous. Right from the start, his presence made us uncomfortable. Here's your shower. That thing make y'all feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Oh, and this thing doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry, I'll get it fixed for y'all soon. Let me show y'all the other bedroom now. Okay. Oh. This is cool. Look, Corp, this room has a nice... Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think that's nice, mister. Wait till I show you the deck. Follow me now, please. Oh, this is a balcony. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. Holy smokes, this is incredible. Incredibly cold. Glad y'all folks like it. This is one of my favorite spas. The view of the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing too. Alright folks, let's head back in before it casts the cold here again. Here's the storage room. If y'all need anything, tools, extra blankets, without not, it will all be in here. If the power ever goes out, you can use this flashlight here on my right. Storms like these, you never know. That cut. Thanks. Alright folks, let's head downstairs now. A flashlight? Come on. No, I already know what's gonna unfold. Alright. Alrighty folks, I see you already stock up the fridge with some tasty food. You see the knob, turn the knob up for more cooling and down to cool it off. I tend to keep it low in the winter, the bill gets out of control. Speaking of winter, I better show you folks the the water heater. Okay. Got this a power thing in there too. Nothing to worry about down here, just the water heater and some old store stuff. If it ever stops working, just hit the button at the bottom. The pilot light will fire right up and you'll be back in business. Okay, he's talking about that. No access, no. Hey, sir, what's the deal with the room over there? Nothing. You two need to concern yourselves with. I kind of use this pavement as storage. Renters don't need the space. They really ought to keep upstairs. Oh, well, I was just curious. Let's move on. Yo, this is some letter face type vibe. You know how, like, there's that metal door where you can't go in there? Nah, that's actually creepy. Did I mention? Well, no, maybe I gotta keep it to myself. The fella I bought this house from, well, told me his mother died down here. Bruh. Some guests have reported hearing voices at night. Said they could hear something shuffling around down here. I mean, we paid a hundred dollars for this place. There's gotta be something bad. Not to scare your foes, but if I were one of you, I wouldn't really step down here. Say less. He he he. The looks on your faces. He he he. Come on now, I'm just joking. He's not joking. At this point, my creepy meter was quietly pinging around 6 out of 10. Nah. Alright, folks. Snow starting to pick up. I'm gonna hit the road now. Gotta find that damn cat. Thanks for showing us around. By the way. What was the name of the booking? I must be getting old. It's Sydney. Ah, Sydney. That's right. Your pretty name for a pretty girl. Okay. Creep. Is this just me or is that dude super weird? 
Very weird. Anyway, let's see if there's anything good on TV. Actually, I'm going to take a quick shower. Cool, I'll find something to watch while you're in there. Let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. What a weird guy. Thanks, see you in a bit. Okay. Just put my clothes and towel back. Please no jump scares. Oh my freaking god. Hey Arp, check this out. I found this fishing rod in the shed. Planning to catch dinner. Now that you have mentioned, that will be a pretty epic addition to the trip. I don't know, it's too cold out there. Come on, Hart. What will make this trip more epic than catching our own freaking dinner? I guess it will be fun. There's uh, another rod in the shed, so we can both give it a shot. Do you want to grab the other fishing rod, Hart? Yeah, just give me a sec. So this is what... Uh, I saw a killer recipe for a baked carp. Do well, I need to cast three carp through you up for the challenge? Okay, yes. Well, first things first, we need the right bait for the carp. Check out this bait information board. Whenever you're ready, grab a carp bait and let's head to the creek. We're going to cast some carp harp. <laughs> Please don't take rhymes with my name. Uh, oh, so catching, which one's the carp? Common carp, golden lure, or cheese delight? Mm -hmm. Let's do the sweet corn. Okay, and... Alright. This is nice. What the? Oh, wait. Oh, I see. I see. I see. It. Yes, sir. Easy. A blue gill. What's that noise? What's that noise? What's that noise? I'm just tripping. Someone walking on the bridge? I got it locked in! I got it locked in! Yeah, keep it! They say whenever there's one carb, there's always more. Okay. Alright, we need two more, right? We bought to eat some fish today, if you know what I mean. That's the hiker. That's the hiker. That's the hiker. That's the hiker. He's looking over here. That's the hiker. Throw it back. He was right there. He was right there. I know you guys saw that. Common carp. Yes, keep it. Yes, sir. Alright, Harp, looks like we got three cards. Do you want to head back? Uh, want to head back and throw these? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Screw that. While I'm cleaning the fish, do you mind prepping the marinade? <laughs> Just take a bowl and throw in a uh, ginger paste. Cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, paprika, and yogurt. Okay, it says it there. That's oh, that's nice. Olive oil. Where's olive oil? Olive oil. Olive oil. Olive oil. Ginger garlic paste. That. Ginger. Where's the ginger at? 
Uh, where is it? Where is it? Paprika. Oh, right here. Oh, wait. We need paprika, which is this one. There you go. Did we ever close that basement door? Oh wait, one... Two... I hate the no noise, man. It didn't go there. Oh, okay, and the veggies. Now... Now, could you add the veggies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I read it needs to go to 30 minutes 400. Oh, it is. Okay. Oh. Okay, we're good. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Those carp are going to taste amazing. While we wait for it to cook, how about we play some board games? I saw some in the room next to the living room. I guess we could. Describe whatever catches your eye. Can't wait to see what you pick. I saw some in the room next to the living room. The Ouija board? Oh, hell nah. Zani, yeah, I told you. Once told me how she contacted her dead grandma through one of these boards. Remember how that dude was acting weird about the basement? What if we try down there? No, my God, I'm just gonna do it for for the content of it. But IRL, no. Oh my God, this is such a bad idea, bro. Like I'm actually dead serious, guys. Don't actually do this crap. Oh my God, this is so dumb. Watch out for spiders on here. Oh great, thank you. What the hell? This is really dumb. Nah, come on. You know what? We'll make this even spookier. Let's turn off all these lights and see if this would- No, come on. This is so stupid, man. <laughs> Anyways, do you know how this works? No. So here how it works. First, we place our fingers lightly on the uh, plan sheet. Plan sheet? We have to ask questions and experience if there are any. We'll move the plan sheet to spell out the answers. Or at least that's what Holy told me. One more thing, Harp. Never take your fingers off the yeah the plan sheet until we say goodbye. Otherwise, we might take off some spirits. She said. All right, then you go first. Um. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. What did I say? No way, are you moving it? Okay, I got one too. How's the afterlife treating you, buddy? And? Huh? What's your name? Let, let's ask friendly questions. I we cannot go too far on this. My turn. What did it say? Come on, buddy. Give us a sign. Let us know your hair. Yo. M. Bruh. 
There's some freaky. <laughs> that was weird. The weird part is that you ditched me. The hell, I figured you would move your. <laughs> would have been nice if you had checked. Have you ever heard of the flight? We didn't say goodbye. Oh my god. We didn't say goodbye. Oh, we're cooked. We're cooked. Is it, we're cooked. We're actually cooked. I think our show is about to come on while you you want to watch TV. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. We're just going to ignore the fact that um we didn't say goodbye. Welcome back to Cooking with Jeffrey. My God. I'm Jeffrey. Asparagus chocolate cake. Of what the hell? This delicacy is very popular in Romania. Uh. Mayonnaise flows down the rivers like a mayonnaise water park. After letting these simmer in the salt bath, we can start making the chocolate and take a couple cocoa beans okay i was done with it yes the cocoa beans need it was all right uh no nah, let's just say it was, it was really good we make a great team i don't know what it tastes like so i'm just saying it's really good i need to check my emails real quick left my laptop upstairs that's not where i'm just waiting on the shipment details for my new d's i'll be right back this is gonna taste like shit. <laughs> but here you are. Okay, dishwashing. Cleaning two dishes. Okay. Nice. I think there's so much. What? Nah, he's... Nah, he's pulling a prank. Walk slow. I'm gonna kill Mike. Oh my god, if I was this woman, oh my god, the meanest, the meanest back kick I ever done. Oh, I would. Yeah, yeah, you're lucky I didn't break your nose. Oh my god. My good looks are half my charm. All right, don't mess them up. I totally got you. That was fun, wasn't it? Um, oh, it's not cool. Come on, it was just a joke. You want to go for the next round? Next round? How about a game of hide and seek? Whatever you say, Cindy Harper. All right, you're on. I'll count to 10. You got to hide? I just said, Huh? Um, I didn't even see this until now.
Oh, oh dang it. Okay. That wasn't even a chance. I figured you would be good at this since I never find you in the city. <clears throat> Maybe you need to look harder. All right, my turn to hide now. You better close your eyes and start counting. Ah, uh, let me go upstairs for that. Oh, Mississippi. Two Mississippi, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm skipping all this. I don't care. There's a closet here. Yeah, I got him. Okay. Fool me once, same on you. Fool me twice. I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't hear it? I did not. I swear I'm alive. I heard something. I see this added access door in here. Are you going to check it out? All right, let me check it out. Use the step stool behind and climb up. The step stool. Where? You're opening this door. <clears throat> You're not coming up here? Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh my freaking god. Hi kitty. Yeah, hi. What are you doing up here? It was just a cat. Uh, uh, wait, I saw the other thing. There was, there, was, there was a minute. I think she was hungry. Oh yeah, maybe we can give her one of the carb out there. Okay. I'm hiding a... Why? Yeah. Ah, there you are. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. I'm getting tired. Yep. Let's stop. Look, I'll hide in the house. We're headed back anyway. You'll find me and we'll go to bed. I I am so sorry, but these are for Mississippi eight, nine, ten. Oh. Wait, what? What did it say? What? Oh. Okay. Well, what's going on? What happened? Uh. Um. Uh. uh what, what am I gonna say? I'm fixing the faucet. Y'all got a problem with that? You should have told us. Miss, this is my house. I don't need to check in with y'all every time I fix something. Anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before? You haven't fixed many faucets yourself, young man? Didn't think so, so I imagine you don't need what tools you need. How long you been here? Just got here a couple minutes ago. If you heard anything before that, just must have been that old lady, remember? You asking me to leave, miss? No, Rick. She's been, uh... No, Rick. She's been... She's being polite. We're just... Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna... Yeah. Ain't no cops in Woodbury, son. You think they're going to arrest the homeowner? For fixing the faucet? I was just doing some work. 
If you can't handle that, that's your problem, not mine. You know what? If you folks don't like me, fish and fossils, I'll leave you out to it. After locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird but probably harmless. We attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. By the time I was feeling really tired, I decided to get some rest. 11.39 p.m. Oh my god, this is so late. Oh my god. Are you still awake? Hard to see when someone's knocking on the door. Do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something. The storm is starting to get really bad. I can hardly see the truck in the driveway. Hope Nora's okay. She'll be just fine, Cindy. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. That's not nice of you, Mike. Hey, it's no problem at all. Guys are supposed to watch over people they care about, right? What a day, huh? This wasn't exactly how I thought our getaway was going to go, Sydney. It's been a strange day. What the freak? <laughs> Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. He does own the place. You know exactly what I meant, Sydney. He, he shouldn't just barge in the place whenever he wants. He rented the damn house. I mean, the guy is probably harmless, but I'm frustrated. Me too. I really need to sleep now, Mike. Uh, it'll help if we both get some sleep. Um, Harp, you know, I missed this. Us, just talking, it's been so long. You know? You don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. Mike, where's, where's this coming from? Would you be doing this? What the f- Remember our trip to Oregon? I remember pretty- I, I do remember it really well. Oh yeah, do tell. I remember it being really pretty awkward. It didn't start out awkward though. But we had a lot to drink, things happen. Things sure did, I'm hop- I'm hoping maybe they can- You just let me worry about the details, Sydney. Guys, I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury. 70 miles? stinking tire just blew out. It's snowing and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it says... Kent Pond. The snow is like half of a deep and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> I hate to ask, but can you two come get me? We gotta get her. What a timing, huh? But I guess we can't leave Nora stand uh, stranded. We better get ready. Uh No Sydney. You stay here and I'll get some and get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing our 
You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You're in the pajamas and I'm still dressed. You just settle and I'll go help Nora. I always like doing nice things for you, Sydney. Okay, so... We'll finish talking about this later, okay? Get some rest and stay warm. Okay, so... This guy really wants to be... With me. But, like, it seems like... He, he will do anything just to get with me. Even aggressively. That's what it seems like it. The way his face and his tone is. Hey, why don't you get some rest while I'm gone? Don't worry, I've driven in worse. Besides, no one's probably freaking out more than right now. Let's make sure you take care of yourself, alright? Lock all the doors. Before I go, how about a hug? I mean, just in case you'll see when I get back, I kind of need one right now. Okay. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I don't see him. Sweet jeans, get some sleep, Sunny. Try to save Mike. This is actually... I told myself uh, things would get better if I could just get some rest. Noah always knew how to cheer me up, and I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the mean, meantime. 12.39 a.m. Oh, hell nah. The relationship that someone was outside. What do we do? What do we do? My friend, please open the door. I'm freezing to death out here. Do you have an idea what time it is? Look, my friend, I know it ain't a deal banging on the d your door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here. I was counting on a ride from my friends, but they are running behind and won't be here for about two more hours. The weather outside is getting pretty bad, and I will. I was hoping you'd be a friend and let me... Come on now, my friend. If you were caught out in the blizzard, I'd give you a warm place. This is the same guy! You're gonna let me freeze to death out here? I didn't make you... I didn't make you go hiking in the snowstorm. I should have known. Oh my god, yo! <laughs> yo, my god. Oh! You think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fishing? Yeah, I knew that was him, see? In the creek earlier, I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time, but it looks like you're still. I'll call the cops. Ain't no cops around here. Speaking of, I don't see your fellow's truck out here, either. Fine. See yourself. But let me tell you something. You get what's coming to you for leaving me out here. Oh my god. He's going to come in. That's the grunt. She didn't wake up. Call for help. Who are we calling? Rick, I'm sorry to bother you again, but can you come back over? There's someone we met driving down here is banging on the door, started threatening me. I'm pretty scared, and I think we're outside the house. Could you please come? 
Oh. Oh, it's him. Okay. What the hell's going on here? Oh, thank God you're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I came as quickly as I can. Could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. What? By the way, where's your friend? The guy who was with you earlier. He's smiling. What? Mike, he went to pick up our friend. Hmm. So they're all alone here right now, huh? So it's like this bringing out all kinds of folks. No, went to stay away. Yeah. Um, is that so? Yeah. Uh, I'll be fine now. You sure about that? Yeah, I just overreacted. Maybe I should stick around. Make sure everything's. Oh my god! What did you just say? Oh my god. Oh my god! I want what's mine. This is this house and you. Huh? I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house, it will be one of us.
Please don't open it. Are you alright? Just got done talking to the other guys on the phone. I've called 911. Freak happened. But just... Okay. Where's the guy? Oh. Hey, it's Nora! Wait, so who did he smack in the back of the head? <clears throat> I told him everything what happened after Mike had left. Frick had called the cops. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived. And of course the man was nowhere to be seen. On our drive back the whole night played over and over in my head. We think that man we saw secretly lived in that cabin. When it was, wasn't was being used. And planned out on robbing us during our stay. But cops seem to think there was more intent behind this man's actions aside from just robbing us. Rick asked me what the man looked like and after he didn't ask any more questions. We think he knew more than he, he was letting on. But at the end he gave us a full refund. Yo that's actually crazy. So... Who did he smack in the back of the head? Yo, that was great. Honestly, that was really, really amazing. Oh my god, it was Queso and Dante and Berlizzi? Oh, there's no way. <laughs> oh my god, there's no way. All right, shout out to them. I'm surprised. I'm actually surprised Queso was there. <laughs> oh, I should have saw the rest of the TV. That was amazing. So, what do you guys think? Honestly, probably the best one so far. I had a lot of fun playing this one. Uh, they are going to make more in the near future. And I just can't wait. This was an amazing game. I still have a couple questions like, who did he smack in the back of the head? Because there was a screaming involved. And what's inside that basement door? I didn't really get to see inside of it. You guys can tell me in the comment section. If you guys want to support me financially or follow any of my social medias, they're all in the description. If you guys want to see more Fears to Phantom horror games or horror games in general, you guys know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, like button. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.